Hi everybody, this is Paul from PicoPros.com and today we're taking a look at the AXA Technologies L1V2 Laser Pico Projector. This one, uh, as the uh, title says, is a laser-based Pico Projector rated at 20 ANSI lumens, uh, rated SVGA resolution, that means it's 800 by 600 resolution, and we're going to do a quick unboxing of it here. So uh, overall it has some nice packaging. On the side it shows different kinds of documents it can handle. PowerPoint, Word, Excel, uh, Adobe files. On the back it talks about the what they call next generation projection technology. And so they're talking about the fact that it's laser based, uh, the fact that it has onboard memory, uh, all kinds of things. Sharing video, displaying games, that kind of thing. And then on this side it talks about the uh, 30,000 hour laser light uh, engine uh, lifetime. Uh, and, it, and it does touch on the vibrant colors of the lasers. Uh, laser based displays tend to have more saturated uh, wide color gamut. Uh, something on the order of 150 to 200 NTSC uh, color and again, it does uh, do 800 by 600 SVGA resolution. Does handle MP4 files, that kind of thing. USB 2.0, composite, video input. Uh, it does have a built-in speaker, that kind of thing. So uh, this one is uh, a, a LCOS-based system, meaning it's a panel of mirrors and uh, uses laser light, meaning it's always in focus, so you don't have to focus the unit at all during operation. So you can have it on, on uneven surfaces, uh, that kind of thing, and you never have to focus it. You can move it back and forth, and you'll never have to adjust focus. So it does come with this nice black box. You open it up, you have a user manual, different different things having to do with the setup, that kind of thing, specifications. It does come with uh, another piece of paper here. Okay, so it's a, like an update to the user manual they provided. And then we have the unit itself. I'll put this aside. Very small put that aside and see what kind of cables we have down here. So in terms of cables, we do have a power adapter, AC adapter. Plug into the wall. Standard. Does have a VGA adapter for your normal laptop kind of connection. It does have your traditional video inputs, your composite video inputs. And also it has a little clip that goes on the back of the unit for mounting to a tripod. So there's a tripod mount and this clips on the back of the unit. That's actually a pretty nice feature because some Pico projectors do not have a tripod mount yet don't offer some kind of clip so this is actually I didn't even realize this came with it that's a pretty nice feature right there so let's go back to the unit itself the hardware now this unit it is small it fits in the palm of your hand it does have a navigation menu on the top here power uh, go back a menu that kind of thing uh, and navigation arrows and OK. It does have a vent here for a fan. So it does have a fan because a lot of the LCOS liquid crystal and silicon based ones put out a little more heat. So it does need a fan apparently to dissipate some heat. And uh, on the side of the unit, it does have uh, speakers, input for headphones here. Right there. On the back of the unit, a little more venting. It does say Class 1 laser product. So as opposed to some of the other ones that might be Class 2 laser products, this one's 
only class one, even at 20 ANSI lumens. So that's interesting. And uh, so then you have more venting. Uh, you do have on the side of the unit here a USB connection. That looks like a full USB connection there. And then you have here the power input. This is the DC and uh, the other connection through some of the other cables right here on the side of the unit. So it's a very nice compact unit. It's a little thick, I would say. You know, it's thicker than some other units. However, the size of it is so small that I can see why it's a little bit thicker. You have to, you know, you can only package so much into a small area. I mean, this thing is really small. I'll get you the exact specs when we post the article, but this thing's tiny. And it has a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel it doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. Some of the small ones or whatever might feel cheap. This one feels really heavy duty, real well made. Um, and there's the front, the lens right there. And again, there's no focus wheel because it's always in focus due to the fact that it's using lasers. Um, and you can see right here, there's just a rubber nub. And that actually allows the projector to sit up a little bit and angle it upwards if you had it on a flat surface so that you can view whatever you're watching without having to prop it up with books or that kind of thing. So there you have it. This is the AXA Technologies L1V2 laser-based Pico projector rated at 20 ANSI lumens, SVGA, yes, SVGA resolution, which means 800 by 600. And uh, we'll be doing a full review with movie, that kind of thing in the near future, but for now we wanted to give you a quick look at the unit. Really nice. I'll be talking to you soon. Again, this is Paul with PicoPros.com. Check back soon. Thanks.